do you have already plans for the strategy? So playing the safe game today? Alright. Alright. All right, then. Good luck on your first step. So, one thing I actually, I'm actually missed to start this stream. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're, we're streaming now. <laughs> we're going now. <laughs> I missed the first start. Um, yeah. Like mentioned in the interview, we have Whiskey on his first flying lap today. First one out. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. That, that shit happens. <laughs> the best of us, I suppose. Uh, Andre, Andresen. He is driving today. Tough work, right? Yes. Actually? Oh wait, yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, I messed up my disc. I just messed that one up. Uh, should be working now. Alright, let me check. Check, check, one, two, three. You guys hear us? Try again. Should be fixed now. I mean, you're just running about, uh, over my my Spotify channel, but should. the whiskey did set a twelve one. It's now the which is now the fast the slowest time as a masking P one right now with the penny, the two second faster. Now that's the thing. Whiskey is a, he's a good driver, right? He's very dangerous when he needs to be, and he can be very fast when he wants to be. Problem is that he has pro these occasions where he's a bit indecisive when he should take the fight or not. And we can say the, the same about many drivers, but with Whiskey, it's a bit of a unique thing. Um, so we, we'll see if today that has changed and if he's going to be making a difference with the, the way he uh, approaches the other drivers or how he defends against them. Uh, so these are key factors to look out for in uh, Monaco as well, especially the qualifiers. So if he can get himself into Q3 and get himself provisional pole, and eventually pole, he will be... Uh, then he'll be pretty good to even push to be first place in this race. But right now, I would say the eyes are on... Uh, they're on the Alfa Romeo driver, which doesn't oh. exist anymore. Never mind, sorry. You mean that Metal Mask? Uh, Metamask, Metamask sorry, is the Williams Met driver. Um. Yeah, sorry, it was just what was saying. Uh, Metamask, the uh, driving in the Williams, currently second in the uh, standings. Uh, what do you make of that? It's pretty interesting. I mean, first one is Daniel, uh, unbeaten record so far. On, wait, he isn't unbeaten anymore. Um, nearly unbreak, unbreak, um, English. 
nearly unbroken record. Uh, won four out of five races he attended, I believe. And Spain didn't win too good for him. But he can't defend himself today. A snugger box set in 9.6. Um, he can't defend himself today. He doesn't uh, take part of this race. So Meta Masking will have to uh, get as many points as he can get to close the gap to him. Definitely tough. And as you stated, Nugget Box. Now that's that's a man that we all will have to look out for. He set a 109 in Q1. I I don't think there's going to be anyone to beat him at this moment. And Nugget Box is the next man beneath Metal Mask, and he's third currently in the uh, driver standings. Uh, unfortunate for him, he does not currently have a teammate. Uh, so that they could potentially together get up all those points and not only win in the driver standings but also win in the team standings. But he's faring well for himself, I would say, right now. Third place in drivers, and he's showing us right now that he's pretty good at Monaco and he's fast. Oh, definitely, he also had definitely. Incredible race pace in uh, the Netherlands. So if he can only slightly uh, have the pace today in Monaco, he can also be very well uh, on the race, on the win, the win the race. Yes, I agree with you. He also has uh, one of the fastest laps available in uh, Netherlands, as you mentioned. So that was the race that thundering around the place. Seven points, but still every point matters in the Formula One season. One or two doesn't mean that you're the champion. You have to be consistent. Exactly, you have to consistently beat your opponent to uh, be able to win the championship. And consistency is also the thing. Gatic, now... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Gatic as well. Currently, uh, the German driver currently 11th in the driver's standings with a total of uh, 17 points to his name. Not bad, not bad for the Alfa Romeo driver. Uh, what do you think is going to end up today in Monaco? I actually think, I mean, uh, Gatic told uh, me uh, before the race that he isn't too confident around the track. But I honestly believe that he... Um, can keep up with everyone. Ask me where the breaking point is. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. It's... But it's right there, Callfish, right there. And it looks like... Um... Right. It's gonna be going into Q2 at this rate. Yes. So, what I wanted to allude to earlier, um, consistency is also a thing you have to be uh, aware about, especially uh, from the Williams and Renault drive. Uh, all four of them, pretty consistent around the season or during the season, um, constantly fighting for podium and uh, high points finish. So. I think that's going to be an interesting race to see, um, especially on track and strategy, uh, what they can offer against us. Precisely, I agree with that 100%. And as we were speaking, the second racing point driver goes on his out lap, and now he is going to begin his lap. Let's get our eyes on this boy. If he will be able to get into Q2. Driving up towards pretty pacey. Not bad. We're switching to some radio time now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are having a bit internet problems again. Nothing too worrying though. I think that was just a hiccup. Yeah, fair enough.
Metal Maskin again, he's going out for another lap. He's not happy with what he has currently. He's on an out lap. Currently going through the uh, Nouveau Chicane. Interested on how he's going to be uh, approaching this one because he's pretty safe. No matter what, he's safe. There's the other drivers are far away from him in terms of speed. See what he does with this one. Maybe he'll be first and he'll be able to get a fast lap in Q1. Sector one lap, making his way to Bayo uh, Bayo Rivage and Massenet. into casino now this turn he's in right now this is this one is really tricky a lot of the drivers tend to break early and go in for an and the other drivers tend to be a bit late with the break they actually want a bit more speed going in but then they risk the chance of them hitting the barricades and uh, as you saw he did lock up a slight bit on his front right tires Seems yes. to be a yellow flag in sector two. It's a McLaren. Oh no, sorry. It's a racing point driver giving way to Metal Maskin. That was and as he passes the Nouveau Chicane. Yeah. He was out. As he sets a purple it's a second sector. Purple sector two. Wow. But he's 59 seconds. He could actually get a fastest lap here. Oh, he's 10 slower compared to Nugget Box. And I think what, where the problem came is when he was in the uh, the the Piscine and uh, Raskas uh, sector. Or turn, sorry. He kind of slowed down there and he also locked up a little bit. But I think he's happy with that one, to be honest. Second place, Q1. He's guaranteed himself he should just go in the pits and look at the track and see where he can... Uh, that time because it looks like Nugget Box isn't done yet. And uh, what's also pretty interesting here? is uh, Gatsik is currently in P12. Um, that would mean he's out of the Q1. No, it's top 15 for Q1. All oh, right, so everyone I'm is already through except oh. for the poor guy, except uh, Jizatsu isn't through. I was already in uh, Q2 in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> what are th what the hell is Jizatsu and... What, what are they doing? I place grid penalty that... for Gatsik. That is unfortunate. The stewards will definitely be looking into that. I think uh, Jizatsu was also at fault there. Speaking of Jizatsu, he's going to actually be doing his lap right now. Following him on board. Starting a step now. Going under the And up the hill. Also, this is an interesting Turning corner. Because, you know. Exactly. Of course. That is very interesting. That, that corner and this turn right here. You see, again, he locked up a lot of the racers I've noticed. They've been locking up here. You gotta be very smooth when you're pulling in here. Um, too much on the throttle or too little it's just going to ruin your lap time completely and i think that that section oh and he just bumps slightly into the wall but action so fine, I think. is important very important section so mirabao is a very important section of this race and as it comes into the nouveau she can again locks up he's pushing way too hard and hits a 55.060 on sector 2 he he only needs 13 seconds 113 to be able to get into Q2 just needs to be close uh, Ryan and, and he does 39 safe for now where it Reinhard goes. Reinhard let's see where's Reinhardt the Ferrari is currently is he out racing or he is currently yes. on a pass on a left. Although so his he... split was, I think, 1.7 seconds slower. 
I caught that correct. Yeah, his sector one is like, I think 1.7, you're right, yeah. 1.7 slower. The Ferrari driver from... Where's Ryan Front from? He's a German, correct? He's a uh, German, yes. And he just lost his Yeah, driving. with a nail like So he will oh. be uh, fighting himself. Uh, quite literally. As he throws away... That's actually on the track, you gotta be careful. Yeah. You want to attack it as much as you can. But you should... But you also want Ooh, to... Also have to watch out that you don't uh, cut the chicane or don't break uh, enough, which can easily happen. Definitely. Especially and around Monaco, of... hitting your braking marks extremely difficult. The thing with Monaco, like it's just everything comes at you really quick. You're right, and you have to be very quick to react to it as well. It's also uh, really, really tight. So. The slightest mistake, whatever, and you're bound to uh, getting uh, front wing damage or just losing to the left. Yeah, I want to close the track where you have to focus really hard in order to get consistently good left hand. It's pretty tricky. But yeah, I don't think Reinhardt has enough time to go for another lap. Look at the time. He's got 50 seconds and he's still in the pits. Reinhardt will be knocked out of Q1 and what a way to be knocked out. The only person in front of him was Jazasu and he's going to be the only one left behind. As this race has 16 drivers in it. That's unfortunate, I have to say. It's very unfortunate. Indeed. True. We also have uh, a few drivers like uh, Megan right now who are out in their fast left. They won't be happy to that. Uh, would be interesting to know if they uh, used a fresh set of stuff uh, that are, or a used set of stuff which could impact them in Q2 and Q3. Potentially even the race footage. Uh, Penguin, I think he's gonna... He gets P8. He gets one Ruby above five. the... Uh, Ten. Gets above a uh, little Tango. Beats him by exactly, nearly exactly two ten. Little Tango, the Swedish driver. I'm pretty sure won't be able to. Yeah, he's not going to be able to pass it in that. But I'm confident that he's happy. He's going into Q2. His counterpart, Papa Aber, P3. It's looking good for the Renault boys. Comfortably not only getting to Q2, but if this was Q3, in the process of moving into Q3, they would be happy with it as well. I'm also whiskey, however, P12. P12. Sorry, yeah. you were saying. Um, I'm also pretty confident that uh, Lil Tango and Formulot, so the Renault in P9 and the uh, Williams in P7, were just holding back and trying to get safely through uh, to Q2, using only one set of uh, soft tires. So I'm expecting them to be uh, further up the order in Q2 and Q3. Percent. That's the thing. When you when you know that you have one guy, you, when you know that there's only going to be one person being knocked out, and you're faster compared to the back markers, as we say, you shouldn't really be bothered to force more faster lap times. You should just focus on what's going to come next. You know, one step at a time. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think we might be able to bring the uh, Ferrari driver, Reinhardt, for an interview. I... Hi there, Reinhardt. What's Hello. Up? Hey. Hi. Uh, so, let's talk about what happened there. It was uh, unfortunate how you got knocked out from Q1. Yeah, honestly, it's not my uh, my best um, track, so I kind of expected this. So I don't know. Oh yeah, of course it's fair enough. Everyone has their pro and uh, contracts available to them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We did notice that you were a bit aggressive moving into Tabak and Louis Chiron. That's where you lost your wing. 
Yeah, is this uh, Sector 3? Yes, close to Sector 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not, yeah, I don't know. Um, I tra trained it in uh, Time Tray, and you, uh, you have um, the not the same car because it's um, the Mercedes, right? And it's feel, it feels like a little bit weird to drive, I don't know. Maybe it's me, but yeah. No, of course, it, it does make sense where you're coming from. Just the setups may be different. And if we may ask, yeah. what kind of setup were you going there? Were you going for a setup where you had more control or speed? Actually, more, more control. I am more control actually, but it's yeah, it was like um, eleven and twelve, I think. Yeah, it's actually the same okay. setup as Gazinda, Yeah. And your buddy Gazinda actually managed to get into Q two, and he's currently going for his lap, on his out lap. Yeah. Part of me. Uh, now that you're all the way at the back, and uh, it's unfortunate, how are you looking to approach this race? It's gonna be tough, actually. Um, I just try to survive. Um, maybe some safety cars can save my my ways, but I don't know. Points, as a top 10 is really, really hard to get. So... Um, yeah, let's see. That's fair enough. Well, I uh, wish you the best of luck, Reinhardt, and hope you can get some points on that board. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Wow, so uh, that's unfortunate for the guy. It stinks more when you're the only one that gets knocked out. That stinks way too much. I, I could feel what he's feeling there set up he's really running you would expect yeah. that he has more control yeah definitely i think he just pushed a bit too hard and uh, i think he wanted too much uh in q1 wanted to uh shoot for the stars without even a rocket yes definitely now as we can see the q2 has started with 12 minutes and 50 seconds left the house driver andri is currently going uh, to start his lap, he's in the last uh, corner. Uh, La Rascas. His teammate, uh, Blue Monkey, was the first one to cross the line, so he missed. Uh, fast oh, lap, he, he will also um, set the mark for everyone to compare against. That will also be interesting. Definitely, but. Seems like Andrea is currently uh, sink down the uh, sector one. Currently on, he's went on 19 or 18 seconds faster than their teammates. It looks like, or the other drivers are currently on their hot lap. Blue currently Monkey turning into Miraba. Well, Metal Maskin. Two tens. Oh my! Papa Albert P2 with one ten. The Renault boys are really pushing in. They're really pushing. They're not going to yeah. wait on at all. And Metamasking's teammate, Bomolot, uh, I think he was in some sort of uh, incident, if I saw that correctly. Uh, on his flying lap, caught up with the Haas of Blue Monkey. Just saw it on the radar, so I don't know if that's completely true. Do you have any more information? I didn't see it either. I was more focused on Andrea. I noticed that he slowed down completely um, as he went as he went into Tabak. He just completely slowed down, and I guess he's giving another shot at the spot. Never mind. He, he just uh, ruined his lap. Yeah, he just ruined. So he's definitely gonna go back to the pits on that one. Now uh, you can see Nugget Box, the previous fast man. In the Q1, now he was now he's taken away, but it's been taken away by Metal Maskin, and uh, he just bumps right into the wall. Bumps right into saying the vote. It seems like he has uh, some sort of a bit of front wing damage. Uh, not really a lot, but probably enough around the track uh, as he sets the proper oh, first sector. And indeed, he does not have fucked. any front wing damage. 
He's that's like, I think it's a the tire that absorbed that. Yeah, I think it's a tire that absorbed all that, not the car. Oh, sector two, yellow flag. Oh, that's just the car slowing down. It's just uh, Andre slowing down, I believe. Yeah. Uh, oh, he just about to get his lap time. Box cut the uh, corner a bit too harsh, and it's easy to invalidate there. That's the thing with the Nouveau Chicane. It's it's weird, right? Because there's a certain section of the Nouveau Chicane that you can uh, go over with your wheel that doesn't count as uh, invalidating your lap time. But then you go a slight centimeter to the cross. It's, that's when it starts messing with you and you can actually invalidate your lap time. But don't worry, Nugget Box. You still have another 9 minutes and 30 seconds to go in this qualifier. And uh, you only need to be top 10 to get into Q3. So the drivers currently at risk are Tacon, Andre, Jizasu, uh Penguin and Nugget Box. Zasu, Penguin and Nugget Box still yet to uh, put a time in. However, Takon and Andre have. Andre is currently 117. He is. What's that? Also, Eight Jizatsu, seconds? Uh, she, sure. Jizatsu showing a bit of a show there at the exit of the casino uh, parts of the track. Uh, drifting a bit uh, around the corner. <laughs> Just well, he has to be drifting. careful. If he drifts a bit too much, he might end up hitting a barrier or a car, and that would be very bad for him. But he's going to go on his hot lap. Let's see if he's going to be able to do better than his teammate, or if he will be beneath his teammate. Let's see, uh... See, pits. Disconnects? He disconnects. Oh, disconnect, I think. I think uh, he's I having got... connection. I just got, uh, thrown back to, uh, Pneon. Actually, his game crashed, uh, seems like. As he's just starting the game. For well, I mean, we got... We got the Red Bull driver currently uh, going on his hot lap as well. He's going to be uh, starting his hot lap very soon. P14, yep. also his first lap uh, in Q2. Takes a while on to Saint of Up. We need to bear a uh, Oh, some of these names, like the way the French pronounce this, it's amazing. Uh, Casino, <laughs> and he's going to be making his way to Mirabeau Hot. Getting purple for a second. Oh, he does. That's perfect. He didn't lock up there. You see there, that's the thing. He didn't lock up. So he, he managed to get a perfect exit and he set himself up very well uh, into oh. that. Uh... Also, yet a great, yeah. great entry and exit out of the uh, casino happened. And yeah, he's yeah, he's focused now. You can see that he's going to give all he has. Goes to the Nouveau Chicane with no problems. He takes it well. As he pushes up towards Tabak. Purple second sector. Purple sector. Absolutely perfect lap uh, by now. Getting really close to the there's, wall. Showing there's no that way he's he can screw this up. Confident. Uh, absolutely confident on Monaco. Going like inches away from the wall. But only goes P4. <sighs> Yeah, on the sector three, I think he made a small mistake on the uh, on, uh, Larascas. He, I think he took a bit too wide. That's what caused. But I mean, P4 is still pretty good. He did hit two purple sectors. He currently has the uh, he currently has the record for them on this race on this track right now. Um, he's qualified for Q3 for the time being, but just safe. Speaking so of not just safe, whiskey. Just in P10. Uh, really close yeah. uh, to exit of Q2. Also, what's pretty interesting, G Sindel sets a 19.9 on medium tires. So he's the fastest and only medium runner at the moment who's going through to Q3. A Snugget Box sets a 195, beating the previous record by 3 tenths. Nugget Box is on a whole new level, man. Like, this guy is here to win. He's here to show everyone that Monaco is his track, and he is the king of this track. All hail Nugget Box. <laughs> now, it uh, looks like the second Racing Point driver is actually going to be uh, going in for his uh, hot lap. He's currently pushing it. Oh, and he just bumps into the wall. But uh, I think that was just lag moment because he has uh, no front wing damage. At least on my screen. Yeah, it looks clean. Seems like so he has uh, a bit of connection issues right now. Yeah, 
Well, regardless, he's going to do his lap if he wants to get into Q3. Going to start his lap out going into Saint Devote. Swerves right into it. Really neat. He pushes up into Casino. Is it me or is it saying that he has 3 minutes and 39 seconds on his thing right now? Uh, I don't actually have it active. And I think... He, oh, he just he disconnected again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think he has some, in, uh, some connection issues. Um, pretty unfortunate for him. Definitely. The only um, one currently out lap right now is Whiskey as well and Thunder. Pardon me. Uh, Thunder is safe for now. I, will he get faster than his teammate? It's unsure. But the guy that I would say that we need to be uh, watching out for is this guy. Whiskey. The uh, only Asian driver in League 1. He's got, uh, he's got all eyes on him. As he goes into... Uh, as he's attempting to enter La Rascas. And he actually bumps the wall earlier on. Uh, what do you reckon Whiskey's time will be? Uh, going to be difficult to judge, uh, especially because he has uh, Thunder uh, pretty much nearly in front of him. And 30 air around the track is pretty hefty. Uh, I could imagine he could easily get into Q3. Um, but yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting. And oof! Ooh. Definitely a wing damage right there. That is definitely a rip left, and he needs to hurry up if he wants to get another left in. Uh, to maybe get out of Q2. Really slowing down now. So he needs to uh, try and get fast back into the pits and let his engineers do the work. But yeah, like I said, um, down, the speed. Red Bull of Thunder was on his flying lap as well. He's currently in P9, like you said, bumping the wall. Um, but I think he is, or he thinks that he's not safe. Not entirely safe, as we have also the racer on a flying left behind him. But he invalidated that. Whiskey is on his in lap. Uh, otherwise, we have Nayo, the teammate of uh, Thunder on an out lap, and Andre on an Both on mediums, if I see that correctly. Also, Jisatsu tries yes. to do another flying lap. Let's hope he won't get disconnected this time. <laughs> see what Andre does with his medium tires. He has a lot of ground to cover if he wants to be secure into Q3. He does have to beat to 111.175 if he wants to get into Q3, but that doesn't mean he's safe. Speaking of, he actually invalidated his uh, lap time on Saint Devote, so never mind. Just hyped us for no reason, man. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really unfortunate. I don't think he will be able to go for one more lap, but he needs to conserve his fuel and his ERS right now if he wants to uh, have a chance of that. And uh, Jisasu currently going into Tabac. He gets a lap in because he hasn't put a single time yet at all because he's disconnected this whole time I'm period. I'm currently watching uh, Negan in P6 because he's on medium tires and actually he, as I say this he uh, bought his lap so ah uh, yeah <laughs> also one thing Gassic right now he, he might just go over the thing he fell down to uh, Q Q11 P11 um, currently out of Q2 not in Q3. And the chat seems to hype him up a bit. Definitely. More more Get it. Right to uh, Potential. Gatsik like definitely has potential. Let's see what he does here. Going into Saint Devot. He graces the wall, but he's fine. He's gonna go in towards uh, Casino. He's gonna make the turn. Bumps the wall again and again. Per cars out here. That's the thing around Monaco. If as soon as you touch one wall, uh, you touch the other one, and then the partner of his wall, of the wall uh, most likely as well, uh, because the track is so tight, you just get um, the energy absorbed and uh, thrown into the other wall. So Jet Chat uh, wants to have Gatsik and Metal Masking interviewed, 
Asgatic uh, bought Sislet. Gatsik and who else was it? Metal Mask. Oh, Metal Mask. I think we need to hold off on Metal Mask for a bit because he's going to go into Q3. But definitely we'll get Gatsik in here. I'm pretty sure he has a lot to say. And uh, it's actually quite unfortunate for the guy. He, he deserved he deserved a better lap. But Monaco is a tight track. you got to be very careful with how you steer. If you're too aggressive or too passive, it's just going to come and bite you. And he gives way for Nugget Box to get another fastest lap. Also, we need to watch out for this Zaku. He's currently on his final flying lap and on his only flying lap. That might actually count towards his left time as he locked up into the front of him. Was it Sandoval? No, it's Nouveau Chicane. Yeah, it's Nouveau Chicane. It's fine, man. Go over it. Yeah, and as he pushes in deep towards La Rascas, he's currently on a 1 minute 1. He could be able to get out. He just needs to be faster than, ta uh, sorry, than the racer 08, the Mercedes driver. But it doesn't look like he will be. Oh, that's very unfortunate for Jizasu. His first and only lap. If he had more chances, I think he would have been able to get it. But very unfortunate. Him and his teammates will be knocked out from Q2. Definitely would like to hear from them. And it looks like uh, Gatic as well and Tack on with them. So. Definitely going to be wanting to hear from these guys in a bit, but since uh, the viewers want Gatic, we'll give them Gatic. Hey, where are you oh, at? Oh, he has, his name is Gatic, no interview. Well, he gets interviewed anyways. Um, Hi there, Gatic, how are you? I oh, see oh, he just mute was... <laughs> <laughs> He's just deaf. Okay, uh, so... I think we should just put him back. Uh, so, so, chat, uh, Gatic doesn't want to be interviewed. Um, we get metamasking then. Oh, wait, can't met. Uh, that's a pretty good call. Yeah, uh, let's see, Jizatsu. Hi there, Jizatsu. How are you doing? Hey, mate. Yeah, so, um, really unfortunate. We noticed that you were having connection problems. Uh, every time you went for your hot lap, you were, uh, disconnecting. And the only lap you managed to pull in was, uh, unfortunately too slow. Ended up on a 112. That's three seconds slower compared to the, uh, the lobby leader or the race leader um how are you feeling for the race this <laughs> well it's fair enough it's fair enough you did scrape the wall here and there a little bit but i could see that you were trying your very best but unfortunately monaco had you there uh what's your strategy going into the race are you going to be fitting on a more harder compound tires to last longer and then switch into a soft or how well, long is the race it. how many deaths it's a it's a 50% race, 39 laps, yeah. So probably going from hard to mediums. From Trying hard that. to mediums? Well, that's that's different not bad. Strategy. That, that, uh, part of strategy to most people, uh, I think, most people are going to play medium hard. Soft hard. Going to, uh, be, uh, to be fair, you can also go hard soft as well. Yeah, hard soft, you think? Hey man, if you if you can if you can take care of your tires, you can literally pull. You can do medium soft as well. That's the thing. If you can take care of your tires, <laughs> but um, try. Well, I mean, don't let me change. Don't let me change your mind. It is your strategy. It is your car and, and your team. So bro, uh, it's just that was game, what I was thinking. My my game uh, thought like crashing every time I going onto a hot lap. So when I got out of the tunnels. Um, my game said, no, I'm crashing now, and I couldn't do stuff against it. So, I don't know. I didn't even practice Monaco, so... Well... <laughs> That's fine, man. It's going to I be mean, hard. It's, it's only one race out of a, what was it, 22 race season. You still have uh, multiple opportunities in the future uh, to be able to go for this. And plus, you're seventh in the driver's standings. So you have had pretty good races previously. And you can definitely contend for top five. So don't don't lose all hope. Your next race after this will be Azerbaijan. So oh, you you get yourself ready for that as well. Plus, it, it, it's not over here. It's not over here because I there's gonna be I guarantee there's gonna be a problem in the turn one Saint Devot because that's the turn that a lot of drivers want to go aggressive on, even when they're told not to. So we'll see how that goes. So you can still pick up points here, but uh, keep your head down. Yeah, definitely head down. It'll be fine. 
Do the All best right. that from the worst. Thank you, Matt. No worries. We'll see you in the race. Have a good one. All right, then. Oh. Any other? Or just jumping right back? Uh, who else was it that got knocked out? Was it the... It was the... Uh, horse driver, Andre, and also Tacon. Oh, well, let me pull in Tacon in. Oh, should I put him into the wrong group? <laughs> Hello? Tacon? Seems like he's full deaf. Just <laughs> like Gatic. So. I think a bunch of the drivers are very uh, upset with how the score or how the result turned out in the uh, Q2. But, you know, it's Monaco, so you just got to keep going with it. Anywho, let's just uh, head back into Q3 then. Uh, the Renault driver hits a 109 uh, fastest lap. Endo hits a 109.8 and he overtakes him. Because Endo currently on provisional pole. Followed up by Litango, Blue Monkey, Thunder. And the rest are still yet to do their lap. And also Nugget Box now. Uh, next one to cross the line. Setting a purple second sector. He already showed in Q3 that, uh, Q2 that he has a lot of... Uh, Face, so he might be a real contender for oh, the pole as go. he goes seven tenth faster than than second place at the moment. So Nugget Box again provisional pole. If he is able to keep it, or if Gazindo or anyone else, to be honest, will be faster than him, and it's a possibility. If Nugget Box is this quick, there's definitely others that could challenge him. But also, so far, it looks like he's keeping it. Uh, one thing as well. Uh, the Renault of Papa Abe actually crashed out on his outlap, as far as I could, could uh, see that. So, we only is he DNF? Have... He is DNF, yes. And... I see his car in the, in the, in the uh, paddock, though. His car. Yeah, I, I can see his car as well. Um, in the uh, Twitch chat, he actually wrote in Kill Me, so I assume he crashed. Um, Oh yeah, he did the NF. Yeah, status the NF. So uh, that's unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate, yeah. But it just shows how um, unforgiving Monaco is. You the one who's taking off. Yeah, definitely. Let's uh, let's bring him in. Let's see what happens. Uh, drag him up in here. Hi there, Papa Upperg. How are you doing? I'm not feeling too well. You know? Yeah, I bet. It was uh, unfortunate. What what exactly happened there? Talk us through it. At the uh, top of the hill, you know, the really, really tight uh, right-hander. I kind of, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of hit uh, my tire slightly, <laughs> and the tire kind of said no, and went off. So yeah, you kind of kind of unfortunate because um, I think you could have had like a uh, front row, front row at least, like two, three. Because I had good pace in uh, time trial and, uh, and such, but uh, yeah, very unfortunate. Yes, indeed, it is very unfortunate. But hey, you you got P9 so far. Might be able to retain it if uh, Bomalot also has the same problem. But it's all morale yet. You can still come back into this. And uh, uh, I'm not really sure this. about coming back in Monaco. <laughs> oh, just you know, head down. You'll you'll get it, but. Speaking of uh, getting back into it, what are you looking? What is your strategy looking like? What are you trying to go for here? I mean, like the strat is, uh, I, I already qualified on the softs in uh, in Q2, so uh, mm -hmm. I'm like it's a soft medium, pretty obviously. You know? But um, I don't know about comeback because, uh, as you know, it's pretty impossible to overtake in uh, Monaco most of the time. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. But yeah. Don't lose all hope yet. Definitely, you'll be able to get him. Plus, your teammate, uh, Lil Tango, he's he's doing pretty good. He's got good pace, and uh, together, you guys will be able to uh, score pretty good points. And he, your your uh, teammate is actually could be contending for a podium here. He's only P4 right now. Yeah, but... Totally. Well, like hopefully, Metal Mafid and Nugget Box uh, crash out in turn one, so I can make some mistakes. <laughs> but um... <laughs> it's not it's not looking. Uh... It's not looking too good, at least. Some uh, 
Not too pleased. Uh, that's fine, of course. Uh, you have your own moves and how you react to this, but as I said, don't fear. You can still get back into it. Um, but yeah, that's that's all. Uh, tack. Oh, um, what's your good? No, no, not, <laughs> I'm not Swedish. I, just, I, I, I know a few phrases here and there. So yeah, so saying uh, tack. Um, you after the race, and uh, thank you for coming. Can you put me back in Renault now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, the frustration in the boys. Uh, Monaco loves to chew people up. So actually, one thing I saw uh, during you uh, while you had the interview, the Tango was on a pole contending lap. He had his Purple Sector 2 and Purple Sector 1, I believe, as well. But he lost his front wing in uh, Sector 3 at the uh, Noel Chicane, I believe that is. And... Yeah, that's why he uh, lost this lap. It's known as in the beginning. Just want to tell you that. Wait, he lost, lost his wing uh, over here. Oh, he, he just went straight <laughs> into the. Um, yeah, on the uh, exit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, P4, he's still there, and it's a good spot. He can definitely go for a bit more than that. But he's going to be boxing. Oh, and he just hits the uh, pit entrance on his way in. That's definitely going to leave uh, a mark. But uh, let's see uh, who else is currently. So we got the uh, Red Bull driver Panagwin on his outlap. And his buddy Thunder is actually currently doing a lap as we speak. He locked Metamask up. King uh, just, okay. uh, this is flying lap. Uh, slightly improving by only one, one hundredth of a second. Show us the new hut. Here. That's a bad lockup into Nouveau Chicane right there. You gotta be careful how you break and uh, what your speed is going into these turns because that can definitely affect your time. He's actually four tenths faster in sector two. That's a personal best though, it's not purple sector. He again locks up on the last, uh, last, uh, second last turn, pardon me. He's going to be going over the line and finishing on a one. 10. Six tenths faster than what he had before, and he ends up uh, dethroning his teammate and pushes himself up into P6. Meanwhile, Metal Maskin right behind him, updates his lap time and goes back into the pits. Never mind. And we have Jacindo, who r did a Nico Rosberg and invalidated his lap time. Blue Monkey, the only person who seems to be sane at this moment, going eight tenths faster in Sector 1, passing Casino pushing into uh, Mirabu, and it looks like he's on for it. He's actually six thousandths faster on a personal best, though, not on a purple sec, on a like, full sector. And uh, he's making his way towards Portier and into Tunnel. A good speed, he's got good momentum going. And as he switches to a higher gear, he's going to enter the Novo Chicane. Will he lock up? Breaks ball and he goes around, that's good, but he does bump into the wall slightly. Pushing up into Tabak, 48 seconds onto his time. It's faster in Sector 2. Going over the bus stop, and finally he's going to be going through Larascas. That driver could have ruined his time, to be fair. And he does invalidate his time. I think he's going to be uh, kicking himself, and also that driver in the paddock very soon. But we don't, we don't incite violence, we'll take care of it. And Bombalot set his set his uh, first time or Bruce's time to 11.4. So he's now on P8. Um, the race are currently last one in Q3, as Blue Monkey has some trouble to keep keeping his car under control. Definitely, and it looks like uh, the Williams are doing pretty good. So Williams fans out there, still kick it up. This doesn't happen in real life, unfortunately. Have a P8 so far, and a Mercedes, the Racer 08, actually struggling to get beyond the Williams in front of him. The uh, Blue Monkey off, uh, goes into the uh, Nouvelle Chicane. He's actually pushing for a P1 here. He's got the Ferrari behind him of Jacindo, and the, everyone is going to be approaching the finishing line very soon. Blue Monkey going into La Rascas. 
It's currently on a 105. He's not going to have enough time to get fa a time faster compared to Nugget Box. And Jacinto is on a 108, 109, and he still doesn't make it. Letango, he invalidates his lap time. And Metal Maskin is already done. Thunder as well has already slowed down. He knows that he's not going to get it. And it literally looks like that's it. So we got Nugget Box in P1, Jacinto P2, Blue Monkey P3, P4, Lil Tango, P5, Metal Mask in Thunder, P6, Boomalot, P7, Penguin, P8, The Racer 0, P9, and finally, the unfortunate sweet Papa Oberg, P10 through a DNF. Now let's see how the race will turn out on this one. It's actually a pretty interesting order, if I might, uh, might say that. Um... Because I was expecting the Williams and the Renaults to both be further up with the order. I was expecting Williams to top row, for example. Uh, but Nugget Box and Jacinda just uh, took that away from them. As well as Blue Monkey. Uh, showing great pace here. 100% the McLaren and the Ferrari driver on the front row. It's going to be an interesting one. Whoever that has a better start, I think, will be the one to lead the race for a majority of its. They're both very pacey, and I don't think it's going to be easy for the rest of them to catch up to them. But uh, my spidey senses are tingling, and I, I feel that there might be a safety car coming in on lap one. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. So how about we interview some people? I would uh, suggest MetaMasking, for example. Chat was asking for that a long time. Uh, who are they asking? Uh, MetaMasking. They want to see their tweet. In Metal Mask. Yeah, definitely. So let's get him. Metal Mask. Oh. He was lying back on his chair. I promise you that's what he was like. Hello? Metal Mask? Hello. There. How are you doing? Not so good. <laughs> I don't uh, I choked. I mean, it's still good. What was that P5 you got there? Yeah. In the end? You're pretty P5. fast in that bully, so I have to say you're pretty fast. Um, it's still good. You and your teammates managed to both get into Q3. Do yeah. you uh, were more pace? Uh, you had more pace compared to your teammates, and of course, P5 isn't that bad in Monaco. Of course, anything can happen. You might have even a perfect start compared to the front rows. But going into this race, what are you looking for? Uh, what is your uh, points of entry, uh, I'd like to say? Complete the first lap and then never lose a front wing. And keep going. <laughs> That's fair. Maybe enough. undercut well, the other guys or something because I'm, far, because I'm behind. I don't know, actually. I'm still thinking about you're, it. Your you're, you're stage on five out of the 16 drivers in this race. Uh, so you're already well in the points. And from what she was on the graph, you're currently second in the driver standings. And, uh, well, technically, you are first as the Alfa Romeo is unavailable. Alfa Romeo, sorry. Yeah, he's missing so this one. You might even be able to uh, dethrone him. So, to do that, what kind of strategies? So you specify you're going to do an undercut, but I think you what do you think mediums. are the best? I, I think the soft mediums, even if I take a front wing damage on the first lap, I go into the first lap on the mediums to the end. That's, I hope it works. Fair enough. Good. It's at a of course, tire management is important. Yeah. yeah. Management is very important. And as we know, Monaco, you, you, you got to be fast, but if you're too fast, you're just going to lock up or hit a barrier, to be honest. So um, but yeah, I mean, uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you in the race, and uh, we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the interview. Let's drag you back down. So, Chad That's was weird. asking a lot for Gatik. Uh, should we try and, and get him in here again? He's gonna, uh, he's gonna get pissed off. I think I don't think he wants to talk. Cause... And we can try. Hold on, let me pull him down. But it's our job. Just be Gatik. So... Hello, Gatik. And he's just... uh, oh, 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 there we go. He oh, wants to talk. He wants to talk. So okay. Gatic, uh five grid or five grid penalty. Um probably undeserved from what we saw. Yes, yes. Um unfortunate P sixteen starting place. 
Um, <laughs> Do you think this is a problem for me? No. Or why are you asking me? If you're thinking uh, that you can easily uh, like get through the field, sure, go ahead. Uh, but to reach that, what would be your plans, like strategy-wise? My plan? To win this race, of course. And how do you want to achieve that? Uh, with the or what strategy are you going to pursue? My strategy is to overtake everyone and land on P1. All right, wait forward. There's nothing else to do. All right then. Uh, we wish you good luck. Okay, nice, nice, thanks. And have a nice race. Nice, Tommy nice. Has any, hasn't any questions. No, you're all good. I think he should get back in and focus on this formation lap so he doesn't <laughs> get another right. bonus. <laughs> Don't overheat your tires and have a nice one. Nice, nice, thanks. So, hold on. Interesting. Gessick being very confident today. I mean, when you start at the back, you need that morale, you need that confidence, or else your whole race is up. He is starting on the mediums, by the looks of it. And Hart as well on the mediums. Jesus also on the mediums, alongside Andre Ski. And it seems like all the back markers are going for the. Except for Papa Upper, who's on a soft. The Mercedes of Racer 08 is also on the soft. Penguin on soft. Boomalot on soft. Thunder on soft. Metal Mask on soft. Little Tangle on soft. Blue Monkey, Jacinto, and Nugget Box on soft. So the bottom the bottom six, as we'd like to say, uh, are the ones who are currently on the mediums. Potentially trying to drag out the tires for as long as possible to get that distance. And then they can pit safely to retain their position or even be knocked out one or two, but not that much. What's also going to be interesting is these Tinder and P2 also on medium tires, so you'll be uh, throwing in the strategy uh, for the others a bit there. But let's get to the start. We have three lights, four lights, five lights now. They're going off right now, and the race already actually jumped the start. He has a drive through penalty. Nugget Boss getting a good start. Jacinda also quite a good start for his medium tires. Further down the field, we have a lot of. This, lot of oh, whoa, whoa. We have a big crash down the order. Somebody sideways, we have the blocking in the road and the safety car in the first turn. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, five second penalty coming in for both Whiskey, Andrea, Tacon, and Reinhardt. It looks like Papa Upberg also has a penalty coming in. And my, 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 what the hell just happened there? That was quite quite an interesting start as the leaderboard uh, seems to have uh, bought it again. And we have Actually, a big of the pile up already down in the casino hairpin. And from the looks of it, uh, three, four, no, three people have lost their front wings. Uh, Andre, Taekwon, and Whiskey. And yeah, they're going to be uh, going into the pit in this lap, I think. All three on medium tires, so it's going to be interesting which tire they go if they try to go get to the heart to the end. Or if they Try to do a two stop from. At this point, if you have a wing damage, your best bet is to switch on to the hearts, because you will be able to pull them out for as long as possible. And as you, as the hearts go on, be a bit more uh, controlling and much better, and they will have better pace compared to the other tires, which have been older. Um, you can potentially change the soft towards the end, go for a fastest lap, or even push for the uh, higher points. There's a massive clog on the uh, pit lanes as everyone comes in to change tires. Uh, however, it seems that uh, the race leader Nugget Box stays out with Jacindo and Metal Mask and Bon, uh, bon Malot and the Racer 08. Uh, Jisasu Jusa as well, even though he has a slight wing damage going. Gatic follows behind, getting himself into P7. So the boys who are on mediums are smart to stay out, so there's no point for them to pit. If you were on the soft, I would have said it's best to pit, but maybe they have another st uh, strategy in mind. But Thunder, Latango, Penequin, uh, Andre, and Papa Arbor come out on hearts. As you can see through the uh, predicted pit stop strategy powered by AWS, uh, it looks like it's going to be a 10 to 26 lap with the softs. Uh, sorry, with the hearts, and then the rest of the way will be uh, different. The other drivers who did not pit yet. 
And whiskey goes on softs. That's, uh, you mix it up a little bit. Uh, going for a potential two stop here. Or three stop even. So he just wants he to. He could even push himself into P10, to be honest. Yeah, if he gets a good restart and uh, a good. Uh, can overtake some people and before turn one, or maybe even into turn one. He could probably even be an uh, upsetter here, getting uh, further up the field. Uh, going to be Metal Maskin, I think, is pretty happy it. right now. Yeah, P3. Sure he and he's uh, back to P3 and his teammates. Bon Mallow, who's P8 to P4, so the 3 4 for the Williams boys. Jisasu, who has a horrible, horrible qualifier 2, manages to push himself not only in the points, but P6. He went he went more than what? What was he it? He was P15 at the end. Yeah, 8 positions. There you go. But Wait, not the... even 8. It is 8. Nine, I think. Uh, Getting oh, actually going up 9 places. Uh, he would also be very happy. Definitely. So these guys, the boys with the Gappy tag, make sure to check out the Twitter and the Instagram, follow it up for the latest news, uh, are definitely impressed with where they're at. And a five-second penalty, severe collision with Tacon given to the Haas driver, Andri. Ooh, he's going to be very frustrated on that one. And I think his wing actually chipped off a little bit as well. He might have to pit again. Who knows? Papa Upper, oh, the poor guy who uh, got into Q3, but looks like he's all the way at the end. It doesn't seem like uh, Andre has any front wing damage, though. Uh, so. There was like a little, it wasn't like major, but it's uh, a bit of it which was chipped off. And as I say, chipped off, the safety car is coming in. The slap tack on does slow down a bit too much in front of Andre, so I think the stewards would might want to look into the early penalty given to Andre because. The way that Takon is giving the spacing and the way he's throttle, uh, he's accelerating and stopping, I think it might have been his fault, but let's not point fingers just yet. We're here on the restart, and it's Nugget a green Box flag. Box. Getting go a ahead, good go ahead. restart. Uh, do you send it right behind after being able to catch him, actually, a bit uh, onto the uh, uphill road, and the two wings have been following him quite closely as well. So... Just, um, Nuggetbox is actually getting a good restart, but Jacindo, uh, smell, uh, did smell like a, or did read like a, play that way. Chicken. Uh, chicken. Did smell like this. <laughs> okay. Can you smell chicken or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was, he managed to stay really close. And he is pushing even more. He's using a bit of his ERS here and there. To make sure he is within one second gap, so when that DRS pops up again on that long straight of Monaco, he will be able to get closer to him. King of Closer, uh, it seems like the Williams might be having a go at each other very soon. Sorry, not the Williams, the race, uh, the Mercedes and the Williams of uh, Bomalot and the Racer 08, they're very close onto each other as we go into La Rascas. Like Arrow. Currently pushing as much as he can, and Nuggetbox sets the fastest lap time with a 113.3. And uh, it looks like Bomalot might be just safe yet as he enters into Saint Devon and keeps pushing further. Further back in the grids, as we can see, Thunder, Reinhardt, and uh, Black Monkey, all three of them close together going towards Casino. Black Monkey, uh, sorry, Blue Monkey. <laughs> Blue Monkey is uh, currently. <laughs> what is <laughs> Blue Monkey is currently pushing as hard as he can. Uh, towards going for a Mirabeau dive here. Push through the... What the hell? That's a penalty. That's gotta be a penalty. That's not a penalty, Why but I believe goes? that's. I believe that's quite some front wing damage. He might have a. Where did his car there. ghost? For me, it didn't go. Oh, well, for me, but it goes completely. Also. I can confirm the monkey has a front wing damage on the right front end plate. So, um, that's was not good for him. Goodbye. Definitely, and of course he is on the medium, so he's trying to make the most of it as he has a hard tire in front of him. Now back towards Whiskey, the only man with a soft tire on the back markers. He's currently pushing as much as he can to get close to Lil Tango. And speaking of penalties, 
Penegwin and Blue Monkey pick up a three second time penalty. Andre and again very picks close up a three to the second time penalty. Definitely, and Might. he's got, he's using an overtake. He could maybe get, get past him in the uh, next level, so. As he cuts the. Uh, Whiskey gets another three second. What are you doing, Whiskey? And three people are into the he's pits up again. The the race of Bommel. Crucially, Bommelot is into the pits in the second lap of Green Flag running again. Whiskey getting a great run on Lil Tango there when Lil, Lil Tango just caught him off guard one second and bumping into Bumper car. Uh, Blue Bumper Monkey. Car. <laughs> bumper car, three much bumper it looks cars, like yeah. These boys are yeah, these boys are playing bumper cars as uh Whiskey loses his front wing and Lil Tango also chips off his front wing a bit as well. But as we look up to the grid we see Thunder, Reinhardt and Blue Monkey still having the same fight they did earlier in the lap that cost it Monkey a bit of his wing as well. And, and actually, uh, as they're pushing up into top back. Actually, the group from Reinhardt, Thunder and Blue Monkey all the way stretches down to P12, I believe. So, those are all in one big group at the moment. Could spread out, but they're all still in one big group and I think they could all have an, a go at each other. At some point. As Reinhardt goes into the pit. Whiskey as well. And Blue Tango as well. I think so Whiskey has a stop and go. So, uh... The two runners actually not having the greatest of races uh, at the moment. Of course, it's only the start of the race, but still. Uh, P9 and P13 uh, both were in Q3. Uh, Papa Arbeck the, was the unfortunate one, though, so. No. Well, speaking of his unfortunately, he's actually pushing up into P9 right now. He can have a go at P8 very soon. One thing of I, course can, if I also saw. Unlock up. The uh, yeah. Alfa Romeo and uh, racing point of Gatsik and Jizatsu are actually pretty close together. Jizatsu are really close uh, behind Gatsik. Those two, P4 and P5, started on uh, P16 and P14 respectively. So, they will be quite heavy. Gatsik moving up 12 places already. Yes, of course, and of course, we can say that... Uh... Jizasu will also be happy. He's, I think he's trying the strategy that I told him about the medium soft, but he's going to be having to look after those tires. At this point, you don't want to push too much as it can hurt you a lot. And speaking of pushing too much, we see Jizindal switching to hearts already on lap eight. We have a car park. So he's going to be finishing. We have a car park in the last two corners. I forgot the name. That is uh, Pinagion, who spun, oh. I believe. No front wing damage though, so... He will be fine, but he dropped from P9 to P12 now. So we had an incident on La Rascas and also on the Nouveau Chicane as Whiskey and Reinhardt both smashed into each other. I think Whiskey might have to pit again. We'll see. Oh, and he... No. Right into the thing. And Reinhardt Whis does pit. Whiskey actually getting clear of it. No front wing damage. Uh, Reinhardt though, he has front wing damage. He has to replace it. He's and Whiskey still right. has a penalty from earlier on, and I think he, he picked up an off. And Taco on a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. You're trying to cut corners or you're hitting someone, Taco, on you cheeky cheeky man. Let's check the race director on exactly what he did on the incident. Taco got a collision with Penegwin. We have and he box a in the box in the box now. Changing his front wing. And going onto hard tire status, I believe. Wait, what happened to this wing? I thought he was he was leading the race. What? He was leading his race. Maybe he pushed too hard. Pushed a bit too hard, chopped the end plate off, and now he has to pit. Pretty early though. Uh, might might get to the end uh, with his tires. Rejoining Whiskey the track picks up another P7. Really close to Jisundo. Oh, he's, he's right behind the person who he started this whole thing with and these boys, I think these two cars are the ones we have to be looking at. There's going to be a lot of fighting going on between them. And it's not for the better. The more these guys fight, the more those back markers get closer. And the more the front of the row start pushing away. Ooh, and he scrapes the wall. That doesn't look too good for the tire he's having on right now. But it looks like these guys are going to be going for a one-stop. So that's Nugget Box done, I would say. I think he wants to push through all the way with this tire. And the same with Jacindo. He's on a one-lap older tire compared to him. Pack, Gattaca, yeah. and Jisasu now both on the podium and Metal Maskin on P1, but Metal Maskin has to pit. He's it's going to be long overdue very soon to pit. Gattaca and Jisasu can still keep going. They can push their tires 
to at least lap 20 before they have to pit. What's also interesting behind them is will be thug. that, that uh, Gatek actually pulled out a 2.5 second gap to Gisatsu, so he uh, managed to gap Gisatsu by I think 2 seconds the lap, if I'm not entirely mistaken. And we have a question in the chat that is where's Daniel? Daniel did, didn't register for this race, he unregistered. And we have the racer in pits now, going for hard tires, as is Negion. And Blue Monkey gets a time penalty. So Maskin actually collided with Reinhardt. Reinhardt caused a collision down at uh, Mirabu, and he's letting the other cars pass. And he knows he has to, because he's going to be in a lot of trouble very soon. Uh, to yeah, be honest, Gatik and Jisasu could actually be top two. I would say because look at the time they got a six second gap compared to metal maskin but he's gonna he's gonna have to pit so metal maskin is not like a thing we should be counting here but if you look closely Garrick has the two second nearly three second advantage over Jisasu and thunder is uh six seconds behind them and that gap will slowly increase if they can keep the pace going but it will also decrease as thunder's uh, tires come to life again and as Gatic and Jisasu tires start dying out so this is a really, really important point of the race. You need to think about your strategy on what you want to change your tires to or how you want to approach the next couple of laps. These next couple of laps will de basically define these two will end up at. Which is also pretty interesting because Thunder seems to be in net P1 at the moment on uh, nine lap old hard tires, fitting in the first lap, I believe, um, due to the crash. I think it was. I'm not too quite sure. Don't add me on this. Um, anyway, season seems to be in that P1 uh, at this moment. This very moment. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And also, if MetaMask yes. would fit in the next few laps, he would fall down to the order and behind Jacindo. And actually, Jacindo got past Nuggetbox. I didn't oh catch that. Nor did I, and he's actually looking to get Papa Abberg. Abberg, you better start running, man, because this Ferrari is right on your back. The horse won't stop anytime soon. And as Papa Abberg starts pushing up towards La Rascas, he's hoping that the gap will increase, but I think... Oh, and he locks up. Jacindo gets a perfect exit, and he's getting even closer. He will have DRS on him. He'll be using his overtake. He's going to be trying to take him out on St. Devotes. Will he? Oh, he's not. Papa Albrecht just survives, just survives it by a little bit. And as they're both pushing up towards Casino, Papa Albrecht, you gotta start speeding up, man. When he locks up again. And Jacinto slightly uh, collides with the wall, but with his tire, so his wing is fine. But Papa Albrecht again locks up. He's under a lot of pressure. You can see he's just locking up constantly in these again. last parts. And again, he's this definitely he feeling up pressure. Both tires. Yeah, he's I, definitely I, I can, I think on the, can, uh, the tunnel can, can definitely see that uh, those two are pushing to the absolute limits of their cars. He goes blocking into the Novo Chicane, again. blocking up again. Ooh, and he bumps into... Uh, just in the bumps into Papa Albert, but this isn't good for him at all. I think this lap will be the lap that Jacinda will take him out. It's uh upcoming lap. As they take enter La Rascas again! Take. Oh, yeah, sorry, I just, I've been uh, too much League 3 race, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but speaking of locking up, there is a slight lock up as, lock up as well from uh, Jacindo. And uh, still, Papa Albrecht still manages to keep his uh, speeds and his position. Jacindo actually managing to be extreme, or following uh, Papa Albrecht extremely close around this. Uh... On the twisty streets of Monaco. So it seems like he has a lock. A, quite a high down for setup on this car. Locking Papa Upper's up. tires are, are gonna be done, I think. He's locking up way too much. He's putting too much heat into those tires. They're gonna start feeling the wear very soon. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what is happening with Reinhardt? He's three laps down. Did he need... No, I don't know, he's not really at the top. Oh, something happened on 
on sector two. Ooh, the McLaren of Nugget Box collides with the Williams of Boomalot by the looks of it. Boomalot comes out on top with uh, no penalty. Lil Tango takes this opportunity to get close to the pole leader earlier in the race. Matumaski is and in he's the now. Pushing to medium tires. So we'll be hoping to go to the end. And actually coming out oh, come just up. just before Papa Alec and Jacinda. This is a three way that definitely. The fact that Alberg and Jacinda were fighting a little bit early on actually helped Metal Mask in a lot. And speaking of uh, helping out, Reinhardt is actually going to be able to help out a lot of racers today because uh, he's currently he's having a hard time uh, getting through the getting through the track. He picks up another three second penalty. He's, he's one second behind everyone else. There's a chance he's going to be lapped by uh, who is that? Is that the is that Blue Monkey? Yeah, I think it is. He's going to be lapped very soon by the cars coming in. And uh, it's not going to be looking too good for the Ferrari driver. I think, I think he's going to be very disappointed in himself right now. And Andre comes and takes uh, the mediums on. Continue with the mediums by the looks of it till the end of the race. Maybe a two-stop is on the way. You were saying? Um, Gatsik and Jizotsu on P1 and P2. Gatsik putting a seven-second lead to Jizotsu. Jujutsu the bomb being uh, rolled in by the Thunder, though, so you were trying to get a go at him. Gatsik's Thunder... pole, or his P1, depends on these two right now, actually, I would say. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, bit. Gatsik's showing great pace at the moment. Um, just stepping faster than, uh, I think, Jujutsu and all the way down to Papa Abe. I think Jujutsu is the only one that could match him on pace at him if he wouldn't be stuck in traffic which is also uh, quite a big part of monaco you can uh, serve your pit stop and come out in clean air and not in traffic would also be greatly helping uh getting, getting his pace uh, shown and whiskey actually gets a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Whiskey, you awful person. How dare you? Oh, well, Thunder to gives up the fight. What was, was he done that for? Oh, he's going on the medium, so he's gone hard, medium. To, uh, I think he's trying to uh, trying to undercut Gisetsu. Or is he just... Or did he have some sort of problem? He could also explain... He had a drive through no, he he didn't. Had a broker. It's pretty pretty interesting as we have a yellow flag in sector three that was Reinhardt getting that's getting nugget box past. It is. So Reinhardt has been left by B twelve. It's quite unfortunate Oof. for him. Really unfortunate. He's not having a good day on this track, nor is Definitely. the other uh, markers of whiskey. Andre Racer 08 and uh, Penaguin. Penaguin and Tacon someone... are actually currently fighting. I can definitely tell that Gatsik though has a great day, already 9 seconds up on Jizatsu. He's showing a great pace uh, on this track. And I think he might even be able to win this. And you can. know what's going to be bad for Jisasu? Uh, we got a... We got a Swede on his back. Right, what am asking? Just under two seconds behind. Actually, just close to one second. Maths aren't my best thing. Jisasu um, cannot operate right now because of his tires. Uh, old and nugget box has another fastest lap wow this guy is doing a lot at p8 <laughs> but sorry you were saying pardon me if i keep interrupting it's so much stuff happening oh it's fine um Gatsik might have a real chance at winning this race here uh being in p1 uh nearly 10 second gap to uh jizatsu right behind him so if he can get a good pit stop and 
gets into clean hair afterwards. That could be an absolutely great thing for him. Definitely, and uh, Gatic getting a he's he's definitely like he's ten seconds in front of everyone else or P two at least, um, and he's increasing that gap and. That's the thing. You can tell the difference between drivers based off how they do on in the race with their tires. So Gasic on a 17 lap old tire is managing to keep everyone or to second place in, on a 10 second gap. And uh, he's increasing the gap as we go. And Metal Maskin overtakes Jusasu before, uh, sorry, during the Mirabu uh, hairpin. Just like that, Metal Mask is in P2. Now, this is dangerous for Gatsik because Mir uh, gonna has a lot of pace in him and he's got fresher tires. So, like, you better you better think of something. You better start pitting right now for. And actually, Jisato so tries to follow Metal Masking through. He's within one second of Jisatsu now as well. So, Jisatsu's under attack. He was early on just a lap ago in P2 and he's now in danger to go down to P4. Tires are old, he needs to change, he's like, it's dead weight at this point in this race. I think he wants to go medium soft, as I stated before, but he hasn't managed his tires too well, probably. Jacinta was trying to go around the outside, but he's actually just closing the door. You gotta be very careful on the saint of all turn, you can actually lose an entire wing on that turn, that's how dangerous it is. I'd say it's even more dangerous compared to the other turns when you're fighting against someone, but he breaks, he locks up, and he bumps into, uh, he bumps into Jacinto, and Blue Monkey on the other side of the track. It's a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Blue Monkey. Bomber is actually closing up to the fight for P3 as well now. He's just, he's just over one second behind Jacinto actually, so. This might actually, uh, get into what's the three way fight. As, is that actually spins? I couldn't quite catch if that was uh, partly helped by Jacinto or if he just did it on his own. Getting his back we can actually check. Let me check the uh, with the stewards right now. And it looks like it was actually his fault. He spun out on his own. There was no collision going on between him and uh, Jacinto. Well, and speaking Jacindo, of Jacinto, he goes to hits. Uh, because of this incident, he bumped whiskey. Uh, whiskey, I say. Which is that's a bit at the back tire, therefore getting a slight front wing damage, which he's changing right now, and he's also going to medium tire. So you already you, you said whiskey by accident, and like his yeah, name popped whiskey. up. You got another three second time penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator's curse. Yeah, commentator's curse. And Gatek currently 4.4 seconds in front of Metal Mask, and he's trying to keep that gap going, but. It's starting to die out as Metal Mask and has fresher tires and better pace by the looks of it. But the good thing that's helping uh, Gatsik right now is the traffic around. So if that traffic gets caught where uh, it's a turn, Metal Mask might be able to lose a lot of time and pop up a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. What are you guys doing out there? Stop for, stop cutting corners. Especially on the Metal Mask takes I'd people. Never, I'd, never so, I'd never thought that you race would have so many penalties for corner cutting around Monaco where you can barely corner cut. I think you can only corner cut like three corners. That's the thing, like, I, I, would think I would I wouldn't be too surprised if it was uh if it was collision, that's the thing, I wouldn't be too surprised. But these are corner cuts warnings and that's not so uh, bueno. The Gatic goes on hearts. And or the remainder P three right in front of the Gatsu. He's gonna be fine against Jisatsu, to be fair. Look at look at Jisatsu tire, 20 laps old, and it's at pretty worn right now. And he, as you can see, look, he, he's not able to turn properly into these uh, corners. He's actually the only one that hasn't stopped so far in this race. I think he's desperately going to try uh, to get the medium soft strategy to work. I think we filled him with too much information. Oh, and Whiskey, what is he doing? He was Learned just through? Yeah, he... uh, I thought his car having problems. Metal Maskin 
pushing through this traffic of the back markers, making sure that Boomalot Organic cannot get close to him. But it looks like it's going to be uh, a, pro a promising 1-2 coming in from the Williams. Of course, Boomalot needs to pit one more time because his tires are getting pretty old. And it's just yellow flag on Sector 2 and 3. That looks like the incident whiskey, was caused. Uh, that was just Whiskey letting people pass me going slow. That is nothing serious. Okay, I thought someone crashed. They need to fix that, to be fair. If someone slows down under a back mark, it should just appear as a blue flag, not as a yellow flag. Cause... I know I know it's dangerous that, like, you know, it's it's unsafe that he's driving slow, but it should be a blue flag. But speaking of flags and, you know, space, uh, attack on Papa Aberg and uh, Penaguin all fighting for P10. They're so close to one another going into Larascas. And they're going to be starting at lap 23. Very close. Papa Aberg will have... DRS and so will uh, Penequin. They will all have DRS on this poor, poor Alpha Tower of Tacon. Papa Upper will take him. Trying to go around the outside. Tacon forced to cut the corner. Getting a three second time penalty for that. I think there was a bit of collision as well. Actually, That's both of fault. them. Actually, both of them are low on ES as well. Yeah, uh, Papa Upper has been pushing a lot in this race to get back. And Andre DNFs. That's Oof. really unfortunate. But I think he just... Yeah, he just gave up over the menu. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but... Uh, back to Papa Albrecht, Talkon and Penaguin. I think that was Talkon's fault, really, on that turn. Because Papa Albrecht was uh, pretty... He was through, and Talkon needed to back off, because he was being uh, forced in. But at the same time, Albrecht could have left some space, so... Now that I think about it, it's, it's just a race incident. You can't do much about it. But Papa Albert pedal to the metal, he's yeah. getting away. Is that actually in the pits now going for hard tires? Why? Why? I I don't know. Maybe yeah, he doesn't you can think he can go to the end. Or mediums on the end. That's the thing, he's already he was on the hards earlier, so he could literally go on the mediums. Was he on hard really? Yeah, yeah, both him and uh, well, Reinhardt. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, he, he was. Uh, I think Jizatsu had no stop before. Yeah, it's his first stop, so. He went to hard tires. He doesn't think he can go to the end of the stop. The risk, but it's that type of risk that will pay off, because look at these tires, they're all pretty old right now. Those softs. Or like a rocket, but you gotta be able to drive that rocket pretty well. That is yeah, Jacinto Getting, currently. I think it's catching up to Bomblot within one second now. This is better Go for on, B2. Yeah. Loss. German ooh, swerving around. Bumalot does slightly hit the uh, barricade on Casino with his wheel. And Gatic is just waiting for that moment, for a small mistake, for him to strike. As they're both heading towards uh, Portier and into Tunnel. I think this is when a bit of ERS will be used to close that gap up. Doesn't look like uh, Gatic wants to use any of that ERS. He's actually saving it up to get a bit closer and they're going to the Nouveau Chicane. Lot takes it straight with a turn. Gatek we goes over. Her... Virtual ooh, ooh, safety ooh, ooh. car. What happened? What I think causes. I think it wasn't. I think it's all the pile up, pile up at the uh, hairpin. Yeah, yeah whiskey. He uh, uh, his think... game crashed. Yeah, I think his AI was a bit of the. Uh... I can't remember the English word. A bit of the uh, pause. The virtual safety car. Whiskey, even your AI is a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> well, this VSC will definitely help. Uh, dip, will Actually, definitely Vega help has no front wing. The hell? What and he to... just, he just wanted to go full oh throttle. God. I think. Oh. Did he DNF through? It did he DNF through the thing or menu or was it? He did DNF right after the uh, tunnel. And actually, 
One of the Williams didn't oh, see the him, safety I car. think. One of the no, 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 it's, it's cause, no, because his car is still there. It's not. I don't think he didn't hit him. No, no, he definitely didn't hit him. Metamask did hit him. He has no front for me. Oh, no, 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 won. that's it. He's going to be so frustrated. He's going to be very frustrated. To be fair, he has a point. That's not a place where you stop, Penaglin. You don't stop at the middle of the road like that. I mean, he DNF. He he crashed. Yeah, I know he did, but uh, it's... It, no, but he DNF through the menu. His, his wheel is no, still on. No, no, no. I swear, I... For me, he crashed into the wall. And we'll get a, we'll actually, get a good Masking, look at it. Mr. Masking, uh, coming out in P5 right behind the box. On new hard tires. He's back where he started and he's going to be kicking himself. But it's not his fault really. And Gatsik might actually be getting P1 out of this race. Boomalot on 20 old medium tires. Those tires have nothing left in them. And I mean nothing. And we got Thunder behind them as well on 10 uh, lap old tires. So we could be looking at uh, Alfa Romeo and Red Bull and McLaren podium. But... Let's not sign Metal Maskin off yet. He's on new hearts, he's on fresher tires, and there's still much of the race to go, and we know he has pace, so he could literally come back and get a podium with still out of this. But I guarantee you, he's waiting for a safety car or something to happen up the track, so that we he should, can uh, We, we should, also never, should also not forget the Thunder and Nugget box right behind Gersic, both of them on fresher, or and on older tires, but faster tires. So... And as I speak of it, Thunder is actually inside the one second window already of Gatsik. But Gatsik also has DRS on the uh, Williams car, but he has a disadvantage here. He's got a penalty, so even if he overtakes Gatsik when Gatsik gets P1, all Gatsik has to do is stay out of specific range and he can easily get him back or even overtake him comfortably as he just bumps into the, uh, the barricade there. And is there all uh, three of them going through Casino and going through uh, uh, Mirabeau? Yeah, sorry, you were saying? Actually, Thunder actually tapping the outside barrier of Thunder as well, so... Both of them seem to be either struggling for grip or pushing too hard at the moment for their time. Nugget box right behind Thunder. Oh, my friend, you bumped way too much. Now the Nugget is coming for you. The meta masking inside two seconds, nearly inside two seconds as well, from nugget boxing catching rapidly. So this train uh, being uh, held by Bomberlord actually helps meta masking maybe getting to a podium position again. He will appreciate that. And look at the pace, metal masking just driving so quickly through, and he goes right into Laraskas, locks up a bit. But that doesn't matter. Look at the fight going side on. by side with Thunder and actually hitting the wall on the inside. Maskin Both is going to be able to get down and I think Meta Maskin getting past Thunder is in to start the what there. Yes, he does. So the desperate move Thunder of the actually made Meta Maskin profit from this as well. He's going to also profit into a P3. Nuggetbox's wing took a big hit there. And a three second time penalty for Jisasu as he cuts corners. Nuggets, what have you done, my friends? And Bomlo is actually picking you... up the pace again, uh, getting outside the one second window of getting. He's got a pit though, he's not going to be able to go through it with these tires all the way in the end. They will definitely burst. With the way that he was locking up earlier, he, they will definitely burst. He probably will, but at this point, his teammate might actually have been. might actually be able to get past Nuggetbox and into the high podium so metal mask could actually yeah you're right could actually even end up p1 because nuggets he's swerving a little bit and you can see he doesn't have too much control over the car uh, as his wing is ruined and gatsik is on older tires but can still has the pace with them pretty sure thunder is very furious uh, right now with what nugget did because that costed him so much that costed him a podium and a chance of even winning the race. That's right, and getting inside to tenth right now. But they're fighting so close. Maskin isn't letting him go. He's not even giving him a little bit of room to breathe. Getting even pushing Bomula through the corner. 
And you can tell that his tires are done. His tires are 100% done. All Gatic has to do is either overtake him or just wait for him to make another mistake on one of those turns. And then he'll overtake him. Just look at it. Tunnel. He's using all his ERS and he's going to pass him in the Novo Shikin. I what think they touched. Just... They touched. They definitely touched. Boom a lot. I don't know what kind of defending that was. He was swerving around. That's very dangerous and reckless driving right there. You don't swerve like that in tunnel. You can end up hurting yourself. You don't swerve like that anywhere. You can end exactly. Up the battery everywhere. And actually, the train all the way down to P6 at the moment. So everybody inside the inside top six could actually get a podium out of this. Pretty close fighting, pretty great race as you send the boxes. Metal Mask, a three second time penalty. Oh, this that's not gonna help his podium. case. That's not gonna help his case at all. All Nagabox has to do is he needs to stay within uh, the three second range of Maskin. As he actually, Metal Mask actually gets past Nagabox at the next day and moment. Boomalar is doing really well to keep Gatsik and the rest back here. He's given his teammate enough time to get back into it again. Oh, so, 100% Metal Mask would appreciate that, but Gatsik is penalty free, fresher tires easier. So, again, this is very. It's, it's too close. You can't predict this. There's no way you can predict this because your prediction can be wrong. There's, there's possibilities are so much. It's a very high possibility that there's going to be different drivers on the podium. It, it might not even be these three. It could be Nugget, Thunder, and uh, Lil Tango. That's how crazy this race is so far. Exactly. And as they pass one, La One desperate move of Gatic past Formalot and uh, Metal Masking could run to the back of them. This Formula actually, Metal Masking actually gets a good run on Gatic. They're trying to go around the outside of Sunday. What? They go around the <laughs> side by side to Sunday. What? And even side by side up, up the hill. But Metal Masking gives Gatic the place. And. Metal Masking needs to be smart with this. He cannot afford any more warnings or any more wing damage. At this point, you have wing damage, you forfeit your chance at any position up on the grid. So, he needs to be smart and he needs to be patient. Things come to those who are patient, and that's exactly what he's doing. And look at the train, man. The train is getting bigger as well. As the other Renault driver starts to get closer, Papa Opera again, behind the Blue Monkey as well, lifting the train up ahead and they want a piece of it. Second, second. Second. Not actually getting uh, the best pace out of his medium tires. And I could actually imagine that as Lil Tango gets a 3 second time penalty, we have a safety car! Teams. Oh boy, this, this, is, this is where this is where it all matters now. So Boom a lot, if he pits, he's, he's, low, he's lost it. He's 100% lost the chance of a podium. Might not actually, if he goes for soft tires, which could go, which could go all the way to the end at this point. He could, but look at the look at the train. It's getting bigger and bigger. He has to go through all that. Nugget box has to pit though. He needs to fix that wing of his. And look, it's gonna cost them. Um, all it's only costing him two places by the looks of it. Potentially even three. Nah, it's only gonna cost him two spots. He's gonna come right in front of Blue Monkey. Oh, Thunder charging right to the back of Meta Masking, losing his front wing. That's a five second penalty for Metal Mask. I don't think that's deserved for Metal Mask. I actually think the stewards are going to remove that uh, after the race. Definitely. Write this down as well so that the stewards don't forget. This is lap number 32. 32. Because I have been part of Injustice earlier today because of the safety car and someone bumping into me and I know how it feels, Metal, so don't you worry, bro. I mean, everybody knows how it feels, I think. Everybody has been through that at this at least one time in the league today. And yeah, actually, it's just, it's very of, stupid how Codemasters have done it. If you can do exclamation mark Discord, you can have a chance of entering the league as well. You just have to participate in one a test race with Gatic, and you should be ready to go. So just exclamation mark Discord. No, you, gotta, you, you, to join. you you got to do it like this. You got to be like, hey, are you a Formula One enthusiast? Do you like playing F1 2020? Well, guess what? Gabby League, a German found league, especially for Formula One, has just opened up and we're running leagues from one to three. 
You think you're the best? Why don't you come and give it a shot? Type exclamation mark Discord and find Gatic. That guy in the Alpha Romeo. Yeah, he's P2 and he owns this place. Haha. <laughs> uh. Actually, speaking That's of Gatic, you just wrote in the Twitch chat. Gatic, get back in your car and off your phone. You're driving. Gatic, are you pressing escape? Is That's against the rules, isn't it? Pressing escape that, that and is uh, against the letting rules. the that AI drive for you. Actually against the rules, yeah. So texting while you're driving, if even if you didn't, so uh, 10 second penalty. <laughs> Being very, very dangerous on the road. We gotta call the authorities very soon. And you know what's also slaps to go. You know what's also going to be pretty interesting. Uh, because of the safety card, the entire field bunches up now and. Uh, the left cars of Whiskey and Reinhardt actually inside that pack, so they could technically be a bit of the pain in the ass if I want, if I can say so, um, for some other drivers uh, inside this field. Because as far as I can yep. see, Reinhardt seems to be right behind Blue Monkey, and this is indeed true. He's right behind Blue Monkey. So everyone behind Thun uh, Thunder, the Razor, Pacon, uh might actually have quite a bit of the pain in the ass, and actually Whiskey as well. Safety car is gonna go until the whole grid is formed up. Tacon, who's P11, is actually all the way back there. He needs to restructure himself before this race can even begin, so... Boomalot might be able to run away with a P1 here. Just about. I don't think anyone else is going to let him run away. Gatic is looking very feisty. Metal Mask needs to get as far away as possible he can. Or else Papa Alberg... Well, actually, no, Papa Alberg has a horrible penalty record right now. So, okay, Bucks could be the ones who take P3 away from Metal Mask. Um, Penalties and Metal Mask does a, have a 3 stop. Play a big role as well. Uh, because, because of the field punching yes, up as much. If you get a penalty on the last few laps, especially if it was like Bomelot, uh, for example, he could not only lose the win, but potentially even lose the podium here. If Nuggetbox, for example, uh, is able to get into P4 or P3. Going to be pretty interesting as well, so penalties will play a big role as well. And I can see Bomelot has front wing damage. The right front end plate is missing. That could explain why he went so slow all the time, or he could have just got it. That's 100%, and uh, a, a driver like Nuggets and Racer, these guys are keeping it clean, so they can actually get a lot of points out of this. They could be in contention for double-digit points. As you can see, Racer always has a whole like field of penalty people in front of him, so he just has to get past them or be close enough to all of them to be able to move up to at least P5. But the car is going in this lap and this restart. We're gonna see how it turns out. You, you, you want me to take the restart? You can go ahead. And Thunder, a five second time penalty for smashing, or sorry, Reinhardt smashing into him. Or was it the only one? The, but I'm asking actually as we go in, well. As we go in, there's going to be a green flag. Boom a lot. Currently on 29 lap old tires. He's going to be going in and he collides with Gatsik. Gatsik manages to keep it under control. He's going to be pushing towards Boom a lot. He needs to get past right now. Gatsik pushing all the way towards Casino. And behind him is Metal Mask and the man with an 8 second penalty. But in reality, it's a 3 second penalty. Let's not forget about that moment. They pass Casino, all of them together. Every car back to back like a train. No crashes so far. No wings lost so far. Maybe a little bit of chip damage here and there. But Gaddick, this is your chance to get away. Metal Mask it locks up and what the hell is that Renault driver doing? Actually, at the moment you said uh, there was uh, no uh, crashes at the moment, no no damage dealt. Exactly at that moment, Metal Mask went into the back of Gaddick and loses his right front end plate as does his teammate. So, might be a bit of commentator curse happening here and Papa Abek saw that as his chance to go down the inside. And Nagelbox actually wait. forcing Papa Abek wide. Trying to get down the inside, Papa Ava getting a 3 second time penalty for this. And further down the field we actually have a few more incidents. Blue Monkey going into the uh, corner and we have people bunched off and this is a BSC. Reinhardt, Saikon and Jizatsu being bunched I off. I saw what happened with Blue Monkey. He, he got hit right in. 
Reinhardt as well. And speaking of commentator curse, it seems like it's real. Whiskey is not going to get a penalty. All right, who said that? What the hell? I don't, I don't understand what the Renault guy was doing. I Papa Alberg, that was way too dangerous. You don't really overtake like that on the curb as well. That was, the I don't, I actually think that was Nugget Box diving in uh, instead of Papa Alberg going. No, no, it was, it was, it was Papa Alberg. I, I, I literally saw the whole thing. That's oh. why I was saying, what the hell is that Renault driver doing? That's, that's not good. And to be fair, it ends up with a penalty, I think. So, serves him, serves him right. You drive safe, you drive properly, you don't get penalties, you'll be at the top of the grid. A lot in gas, like, look at these guys. Tweet and innocent. Metal Maskin, of course, is innocent as well. He just got unlucky because of, you know, poor coding in this game, but we'll talk about that later. Gatik is actually going to be able to pass. Yes, he is in the Novo Shikin. He bumps into him. Look, it's a three second time penalty, and Gatik is officially P1. And he is secure as Bumala has a three second time penalty, and he's on a 30 old tire. And he has one. This man, done. this man went 30 laps on medium tires on a 50% race. He has the balls bigger than Jupiter. It's like a Lewis Hamilton the fact moment. Is, yeah, and the, yeah, exactly. And the fact that he's P2, crazy. And he lets his teammate pass. That's righteous to do so. He's got fresher tires. And he's going to be able to get of this. See, that's good teamwork. And behind them is the f is the sweet Papa Aubrey, the man we were talking about earlier. Who uh, managed Isn't to get a time in. Box? Yeah, I was actually thinking it would be more of a Jacindal Nugget Box show. But this Gatic Metal Skin and... Uh, Maskin and Bumalot's fight is much better, and Nuggetbox tries to do what Papa Alberg did. And uh, he did it slightly safer, but still, I don't approve of it. But again, what they bump into each other. Nuggetbox loses the left side of his wing, and he's current. Oh, sorry, Papa Alberg loses his left side of his wing. And the racer sees this as a chance. Too. Overtaking Thunder might even getting might even get, uh, get Gisindel, but I don't know. And actually, Nicola and the chat has a good point. A Bomelot's tires might actually uh, explode. Yep. He's doing 31 laps. He is probably at about 60-70% right now, which is about the danger point for medium tires. So, that could also be a pretty interesting point. A Snuckbox tries to go down the inside of Bomelot and actually gets front wing damage, but gets also past Bomelot. So, Bomelot's tires is actually going down rapid now. Because I read the yellow flag on Sector 2. Crashed out. <laughs> I didn't quite catch oh, that, but no. it actually seemed like his teammate crashed him out, or he crashed with his teammate. Uh, those, those, uh, those teammates fighting each other, and it didn't end too well. And Gatsik, he'd be the man to take P1 home all the way back from P16, was it? It was he all the way down P from P16. This was last to first. This man, Arava would be proud. This man did a checko on everyone right now, and he is actually, I would say, he's pretty safe. Because the man behind him officially has a 3 second penalty, unofficially has an 8 second penalty, but we'll get through that in a bit. And you shouldn't forget Nuggetbox though, he's on new soft tires, just about 6 left old. So he's but having a really strong charge at uh, Metal Masking right now. If he can get metal past Metal Masking in the last lap, he might get even past Getik, but however, Getik just needs to keep it clean and not get a penalty and he should be fine. Definitely. By the way, you might want to take a screenshot on the last lap as Gatsik goes across the line and uh, Metal Mask and stuff so you can see the distance with the penalty if the stewards are going to change stuff. Uh, it's on uh, the stream anyway. Oh, it's on the Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. You got the thing up. Because I feel so bad for Metal Mask and I... he's been driving really good. Same with Gatsik, but Mask was very frustrated and it looked like it worked out for him. This frustration, and as we're going Nugget towards the Metal last Masking. last few turns, Attic goes into port here, followed up by the Williams of Maskin and the McLaren of Nugget Box, and they enter the tunnel all together, still not far behind. And this is looking like it's going to be. Oh, and Takon gets a 10 second time penalty. Takon, what are you doing? Oh, I haven't seen Metal that Masking. in a while. Bangs into the Novo Chicane on the barrier, and Gatsik 
is going to get even further away from him as they're all going towards uh, Laraskas. And that is going to be a, an official. Ladies and gentlemen, B, or sorry, Gatic, the Alfa Romeo driver, is your Monaco Grand Prix winner. Followed up by Metal Maskin and Nugget Box in the Williams and the McLaren. GG, boys. The race are getting all the way up to P4 momentarily. I say momentarily because Metal yes. Maskin is in there as well. Yeah, so yeah. I think Metal Maskin would have ended P2 regardless because Nugget also had a three second time penalty. And Jacinto. But since. Guy uh, Guy Guy quick one, quick one. There is it! Wow. P1! Alright, alright, alright. Nice one, nice one, Gattaca. Right, we can see you're excited. How? Uh, what, what's going through your? What's going through your body? I what call it. Right I call it P1. Nice. I call it. There's nothing to say. I call it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of like a clear moment here. Great race out there today. You scraped the wall a little bit. Were you struggling for grip? <laughs> yes, yes. First qualifying, and then everything was clean. Nice, nice, nice. Well, congratulations on P1. Uh, have fun with the champagne. A good race, man. Really good <gasps> race. Really good comeback. I think you won the driver of the day as well. Of course I am. I you went last it. to first. That's driver of the day for me. <laughs> driver of the day for <laughs> me as well. Okay, wow. interview the second guy or something else. I'm, I'm gone. Well, we don't know who the second guy is because there might be a change. It could be a metal masking because he had a. It should be metal masking. I saw it. Yeah, well, let's just bring metal masking in right now. Where is he at? Where are he at? <sighs> oh, there he is. Okay, I found him. Hello, metal masking. Hello. Congratulations on. Was it... should I just announce it? Up? No. Well, there's actually a high yeah. possibility yeah. that you're gonna be P2. Yeah, I should. Very high I, possibility. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that, 100. Yeah, should, yeah, don't worry. We, P2, I, I, I saw it. I saw it. We all saw it, and yeah. Gazik saw it as well. Great. So but congratulations yeah. on your uh, provisional P2. Uh, from P5 to P2, you you led an amazing race. Your teammate as well, uh, Bomalot, he was defending really well against everyone on very old tires. So props to him. I think. He shares a little bit of this with victory as well because you had to change tires and you had to change up your wing he was the one that helped the train a little bit for you to catch up so definitely he has a bit of say in this victory of yours but really well drive well drove today um what are you feeling how how are you looking I'm, to see I'm the rest of the season but also happy i'm disappointed, but disappointed. Also happy because because the red bull there was a red bull he crashed on the virtual so I didn't see there was a yellow on track ahead of me. So directly when the virtual safety car ends, I rear end this uh, DNF car. And I get full front when I, have, when I have like a 25 second lead. And yeah, so that, that cost me the win. And then I, and then I, it's so, I'm, it's so hectic. I, my heart is going. And then I have to get past so many people again, but with the newer tires, which makes it very good. And then I am P2. Which yeah, we I would saw it was after what happened. <laughs> we saw it was the uh, the Red Bull of um, Penaguin who actually stopped at that point in the track. That was a horrible place for his AI to stop. I don't even know why it happened, but it's unfortunate. But I think it was still a good it's a good place to end it off with. I would say. Yeah. But other than that, really, really well drove man. Really well played. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in Azerbaijan very soon. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, well, I will just drag you back down. Uh, who right. was it? The third guy was Nugget Box? That was Nugget Box. Yes. So... Oh, he's not even in here. Oh. That's so far. Well, uh, that was. What a race. What a race. Oops. Was a pretty, the whole thing. pretty interesting race. I think, I think if the the if race holds up, Monaco never disappoints. It was definitely really, really interesting. 
definitely Monaco being a very hard track to master and a hard track to drive without being able to, you know, scrape the wall here and there. It lives up to its reputation. No wonder this is why a lot of the F1 drivers consider the track or the they literally go there to live. Like it makes sense. It's a beautiful track, very well established, and it's got a lot of history behind it. And uh, yeah, exactly, it's a very uh, can... pres prestige uh, uh, race. So winning it is also Definitely. another a step up, and even for Gatic, it's first league win. Uh, in Monaco, that has to be has to be great. Yeah, and he's already he's already made history in the Gabi League. He went from 16 from the back to the front of the pack, and he pulled in those 25 points in the end. Couldn't get 26 because of those tires, but I'm pretty sure he's happy with that trophy. It's going to go into his shelf, and he's already done. He's already made history. That's going to be around for a while. It'll be this day on the 23rd of January, 2021. Did the impossible on Monaco. Then people should say again, you can't overtake it, Monaco. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. This is proving to people that you can you can always overtake, but you just got to know when and how to overtake. So Gatic, by silencing those comments given by people. But uh, I, this was amazing. This was an amazing race, and I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the Azerbaijan race that's going to be a, another a great city track to uh, to watch and cast to be very it's definitely going to be filled with uh, a lot of uh, excitement and a lot of drama I'm uh, expecting yeah. great race again and yeah definitely I mean all the races here are great I mean side three three buddy Speaking of League 2 and 3, we're looking to expand <laughs> our horizon. So why don't you type exclamation mark Discord and join the Discord and get your chance of sharing the glory with Gatsik. Maybe you'll be able to beat him, maybe not. But I will only find out one way. You join that Discord right now, Mr. and Mrs. Right, so that's my advertising line. And uh, yeah, that's all for me. <laughs> Thank you. We definitely have a uh, conversation champion in here. He knows how to get <laughs> From one topic to the another, and I will also say thank you all for watching. And yeah, like you said, exclamation mark Discord if you want to share the glory with Gatic. And have a nice time, everyone. Until the next time, which should be League Two on Friday, the 29th at 7 p.m. 7 p.m., 8 p.m., I don't even know. Uh, Whiskey will be casting this one. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and till next time.